a concept hypersonic aircraft used in the opening sequence of Top Gun Maverick. It was designed by Lockheed Martin's secretive division, Skunk Works. Today, we'll take a closer look at Dark Star, understand its design process, and explore the importance of hypersonic technology for the future. We caught up with Brian Hirschberger, an engineer at Skunk Works who led the Dark Star project. When asked if the aircraft could actually fly, Brian explained that while it looks like cinematic magic, it was only a replica for the film. However, Dark Star represents Lockheed Martin's vision of the future and its capabilities in hypersonic technology. Brian also explained that the term hypersonic refers to a speed of Mach 5, which is equivalent to one mile per second. For comparison, traveling from Los Angeles to New York at that speed would take just 45 minutes. In the film, Maverick even reaches Mach 10, demonstrating truly incredible speeds. Regarding the collaboration with Paramount Pictures, Brian shared that the project began when Paramount approached Lockheed Martin because of their reputation in hypersonic technology. They worked with Daniel Simon, a renowned graphic designer, to develop the concept for the aircraft. After going through over 40 design iterations, the Dark Star, as seen in the film, was born. This was an ideal collaboration, resulting in a product that inspired a vision for the future of aviation and technology. The first thing that stands out when looking at the front of the Dark Star is its extremely sleek and aerodynamic design. Brian Hirschberger explained that this shape was necessary for high speeds, similar to an arrow cutting through the air. Interestingly, the cockpit of the aircraft is recessed into the fuselage, as opposed to a traditional cockpit that protrudes. This design is similar to the X-59 demonstrator used for supersonic boom technology research, relying on forward vision through different technology, but still allowing for side visibility. Details like Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell's name on the fuselage are also interesting elements. While it doesn't appear to have a direct forward view, current technology allows for that view to be displayed digitally, as shown in the film. As Maverick approaches Mach 10 in the film, the cockpit glass begins to heat up due to friction, an attention to detail that reflects the real-world challenges of hypersonic flight. Brian explains that at Mach 5, the air begins to decompose due to the high speed, creating a plasma around the craft, much like what happens to the space shuttle as it re-enters the atmosphere. The main challenge is developing materials that can withstand the extreme temperatures while remaining light enough to allow flight. When asked if pilots will still be a part of hypersonic flight in the future, Brian notes that the space shuttle, which reached Mach 20 during re-entry, was able to carry humans. However, the presence of a pilot on a hypersonic aircraft depends on the needs of the mission. There are times when human decision-making in the cockpit is essential, and there are times when autonomous technology is preferred. The decision to have a cockpit on a hypersonic aircraft depends on the mission requirements. While more technically difficult, it is not impossible. In the movie Top Gun Maverick, the attention to detail is evident in the Skunk Works logo on the tail of the aircraft, as well as the scattered Lockheed branding. Several other Easter eggs, such as the initials on the cockpit panel, were also inserted by the design team. The Dark Star has large engines designed to produce the massive thrust needed to reach hypersonic speeds. In the movie, the Maverick uses a scramjet to accelerate to Mach 10. A scramjet is an engine that burns air supersonically inside its engine, as opposed to a conventional engine like the SR-71 that slows the air down for subsonic combustion. The Dark Star's aerodynamic design, including its thin wing shape, was inspired by the design principles of the SR-71 Blackbird. Thin wings were needed to minimize air resistance at high speeds. While the Dark Star's design was inspired by the SR-71, the same aerodynamic principles are used to support hypersonic performance while allowing the aircraft to land and take off from runways. The Dark Star project was designed in secret by the Skunk Works team and the public had to wait four years after the plane was completed to see it in the film. This created a great sense of pride among the team members, including those not directly involved in the project, 
because they were finally able to see their work being appreciated globally. In addition to Darkstar, the film also references the legacy of the SR-71 Blackbird, a legendary aircraft that holds the record as the fastest manned jet to this day. Designed in the 1960s, the SR-71 faced many technical challenges, such as handling extreme heat of up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface of the aircraft while flying at Mach 3. The special materials and design innovations used in the SR-71 paved the way for the development of today's hypersonic technology. Titanium was the primary solution to address the material challenges of an aircraft like the SR-71. However, titanium is difficult to produce, requiring special manufacturing techniques. In addition, the aircraft uses a special fuel, JP-7, which doubles as a coolant to keep the aircraft's temperature stable. Hypersonic technology is now a pressing need for the U.S. military, especially with the development of hypersonic aircraft being tested by Russia and China. High speeds make these vehicles difficult to detect and target, making quick reaction times critical. America is working to not only match this capability but also stay ahead of it. Some of the innovations on the SR-71 to handle the heat include silver tires coated with aluminum for thermal protection and specially developed hydraulic fluids to keep it running in extreme conditions. The aircraft, which first flew in the late 1950s, remains an engineering masterpiece that is yet to be surpassed in speed. Lockheed Martin, through its Skunk Works, has been a leader in the development of hypersonic technology for more than 60 years. In 2010, they created the Falcon program that involved a vehicle capable of reaching speeds of Mach 20. Today, they continue to drive innovation for the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Army, especially in the development of more affordable scramjets and more advanced materials. In the future, Hypersonic technology will experience advances in sensors, communications, and manufacturing processes, such as the use of 3D printing technology to make scramjets more economical. Digitalization also allows the design and production of hypersonic vehicles to become cheaper and more common. Although there has been no official confirmation, the possibility of creating a real version of Darkstar remains open, given the philosophy of Skunk Works which always encourages the realization of imagination into reality.